Welcome to the ultimate badminton explainer video. Did you know badminton is the fastest racket sport in the world? In this video, we'll cover everything from how to score points to where you can and can't hit the shuttlecock. By the end, you'll know the ins and outs of badminton rules. Ready to become a badminton expert in just under 10 minutes? You might be familiar with tennis, but badminton is a whole different game. While both use rackets, badminton has its own unique set of rules and challenges. For starters, in badminton, the rally ends as soon as the shuttlecock touches the ground. No bouncing allowed here. Badminton is played with either one player per side, in singles, or two players per side in doubles. Throughout this video, we'll break down the rules that make badminton so exciting and different from other racket sports. By the end, you'll understand not just how to play, but why badminton's fast-paced action and strategic depth make it a thrilling sport to watch and play. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into the court and equipment that make badminton unique. You might be surprised to learn how these small changes have a big impact on gameplay. First, let's talk about the court. A badminton court is significantly smaller than a tennis court, measuring just 13.4 meters long and 6.1 meters wide for doubles play. This compact playing area leads to faster paced action and requires more agile movements from players. The net in badminton is another key difference. It stands at about five feet high at the edges and dips slightly in the center. This height is crucial because it influences how players approach their shots. They must carefully calculate whether to clear the net with a high shot or attempt a more challenging drop just over the top. Now let's talk about the star of the show, the shuttlecock or birdie as it's often called. This unique projectile is a far cry from a tennis ball. It's made up of 16 feathers attached to a cork base and weighs between 4.74 and 5.5 grams. The shuttlecock's design creates high drag, causing it to decelerate quickly after being hit. This characteristic dramatically affects shot trajectories and adds an extra layer of strategy to the game. The racket is another piece of equipment that sets badminton apart. Badminton rackets are incredibly light, weighing between 70 and 95 grams. Compare that to a tennis racket, which typically weighs 280 to 340 grams. This lightweight design allows for quicker reactions and more wrist-based shots, enhancing the overall agility of the game. The combination of a lightweight racket and the unique properties of the shuttlecock enables players to use a short hitting action while still generating significant power. This is crucial for executing quick and deceptive shots, which are hallmarks of high-level badminton play. All these factors, the smaller court, the net height, the shuttlecock's flight characteristics, and the lightweight rackets, come together to create a game that's distinctly different from tennis or other racket sports. Badminton demands lightning-fast reflexes, precise control, and strategic thinking. So, to recap, the compact court size and specialized equipment make badminton a game of agility and precision. Now that we've covered the court and equipment, let's dive into how badminton is scored and served. This is where the game really sets itself apart from other racket sports. In badminton, scoring is straightforward but intense. Unlike tennis with its complex game set match structure, badminton uses a rally point system. Every rally results in a point, regardless of who served. The first player or team to reach 21 points wins the game. But here's where it gets interesting. To win, you need a two-point lead. If the score reaches 20, 20, play continues until one side gains that crucial two-point advantage. This can lead to some nail-biting finishes. And if you're wondering about marathon matches, there's a cap. If the score hits 29, 29, the next point wins, no two-point lead needed. This scoring system keeps matches fast-paced and unpredictable. Every point matters, and momentum can shift quickly. It's not uncommon to see dramatic comebacks or sudden reversals of fortune. Now let's talk about serving. In badminton, the serve is a critical moment, but it's quite different from tennis. The most noticeable rule, you must hit the shuttlecock below your waist. This isn't just a quirk, it's designed to prevent overpowering serves and keep rallies exciting. The server also has to aim diagonally across the court, similar to tennis. But in badminton, there are specific service courts. These are smaller areas within each half of the court. The shuttlecock must land in the correct service court for the serve to be legal. In singles, the server alternates between the right and left service courts depending on their score. Even score, serve from the right. Odd score, serve from the left. This adds a layer of strategy and keeps players on their toes. Doubles play introduces even more complexity. The serving team continues to serve as long as they keep winning points. Partners alternate service courts with each point won. This can lead to long serving streaks, adding pressure and excitement to the game. There's one more crucial serving rule to remember. The shuttlecock must pass the short service line, which is about two meters from the net. This ensures that serves can't be too short and tricky, maintaining fairness in the game. All these serving rules might seem complicated at first, but they serve a purpose. They create a balanced start to each rally, preventing any player from gaining an unfair advantage. The result? More dynamic rallies and a greater emphasis on skill and strategy rather than raw power. So, remember, in badminton, every point counts, and serving rules are designed to keep the 
game fair and exciting. Now that we've covered the basics of scoring and serving, let's explore the heart of badminton, gameplay and strategy. This is where the sport truly shines, showcasing a unique blend of agility and precision. In badminton, rallies are the core of the game. Unlike tennis, where the ball can bounce, badminton rallies are continuous. The shuttlecock must be hit back and forth without touching the ground. This creates a fast-paced, non-stop action that demands quick reflexes and constant focus. Let's break down some key badminton shots. The smash is a powerful downward hit aimed at winning the rally outright. It's similar to a tennis overhead, but the lightweight shuttlecock allows for even more speed and angle. The drop shot is a delicate touch that just clears the net, forcing your opponent to rush forward. In tennis, you might compare this to a soft volley. Finally, the clear is a high, deep shot that pushes your opponent to the back of the court, similar to a tennis lob, but with more precision due to the shuttlecock's flight characteristics. Footwork and agility are crucial in badminton. Players need to cover the entire court quickly, often changing direction in a split second. This differs from tennis, where endurance and consistent rallying are more emphasized. Badminton requires rapid lateral movements and lightning-fast reactions. The strategic differences between singles and doubles play are significant. In singles, players typically target the corners of the court to force their opponent to move extensively. It's a game of cat and mouse, with each player trying to outmaneuver the other. Doubles play, on the other hand, focuses on maintaining an attacking formation. Partners work together to create opportunities for smashes using quick exchanges and coordinated movements. Deception plays a crucial role in badminton strategy. Players often disguise their intended shots to mislead opponents, using techniques like slicing and short-hitting actions to create unexpected angles and speeds. This level of deception is less prominent in tennis due to the different equipment and court size. In doubles, players aim to maintain the attack by using flat strokes and quick reflexes to regain control of the rally. Teamwork is key, with partners constantly adjusting their positions based on each other's movements and the opponent's shots. All these elements, the continuous rallies, varied shots, agile footwork, and strategic deception come together to create a sport that's both physically demanding and mentally challenging. Badminton requires a unique set of skills that differ significantly from tennis or other racket sports. So, in badminton, agility, precision, and strategy are essential to outmaneuver your opponent and win the rally. We've covered a lot of ground, from the compact court and lightweight equipment to the unique scoring system and strategic gameplay. Badminton stands out with its continuous rallies, lightning-fast reflexes, and emphasis on precision over power. Unlike tennis, every point matters, and momentum can shift in an instant. Ready to give badminton a try? It's a sport that welcomes players of all ages and skill levels. You can start with casual games in your backyard or local park. As you improve, you might find yourself drawn to more competitive play. Understanding these differences between badminton and tennis doesn't just help you play better. It enhances your appreciation for both sports. Each has its own challenges and thrills, so why not pick up a racket and experience the unique excitement of badminton for yourself? You might just discover your new favorite sport. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Sports Explainer videos. Comment below with your favorite badminton tip or question, and we'll see you on the court.